Hi, my name is Boyd McGeeky and I'm part of the EC2 Spot Instances team. This is the second video in a three video series about how to use Spot Instances with Amazon EMR. In the first video, you've hopefully understood why you would want to use Spot Instances uh, in an EMR cluster. Uh, and now we're going to focus on how to follow Spot best practices when configuring your Amazon EMR cluster. Uh, so a quick recap, why would you want to use Spot Instances? Well, they're low predictable prices. Customers uh, regularly see 70 to 90% discounts. Uh, they'll also use spot instances to accelerate results, uh, get answers faster, do 10 times as much with the same budget. Uh, and then finally, we've made spot really easy to use, and hopefully that's what you see in this video, uh, is how easy it is to configure an Amazon EMR cluster to get the most out of spot instances. One quick story that, that I always like talking about is how Mobileye actually thinks about using spot instances. Of course, uh, they love the savings that they see, but even more exciting, it was about their ability to actually deliver business results faster. So being able to provide more capacity uh, and get their answers faster. So let's jump into the console. When we go to Amazon EMR, obviously the first thing we're gonna do is click create a cluster. Now, there's a lot of options here, but let's jump straight into the advanced options. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. It's just what brings the superpowers to using Spot with Amazon EMR. Now, obviously, there are many different applications supported in Amazon EMR. We're not going to focus on that here today. We're going to focus on how do we configure the compute resources to use Spot efficiently. So first and foremost, the most important thing to do is come and click Instance Fleets. Uh, and then select your VPC, and obviously provide as many subnets as you can use in your EMR cluster. That allows EMR to find the best availability zone to deploy your cluster in. In this video, I'm not going to focus on master and core nodes. Uh, we will dive deep into that in the third video of this series, but here today we're just going to focus on how to configure the task nodes. Uh, and so most importantly, you'll notice if you go down to task nodes, the real power comes from this add or remove instance types. EMR actually enables you to provide up to five different instance types that work for your application, uh, and then using uh, a combination of, of capacity awareness and pricing information, EMR will automatically deploy uh, in the capacity pool that they think best suits your application. So now you see I've got five different instance types, uh, and you're following spot best practices. You don't need to come back. If a spot instance is taken off you, EMR is automatically going to replace that with a different spot instance. In the next video in this series, we're going to dive into how to configure the master uh, and core nodes based on whether you're running a long-running cluster or a short-running cluster.